Hi guys, it's DJ here from CozyRC and in this video I'm going to update you on the Shrimp Rigger build. It's almost finished and ready for this maiden run, so let's go! A lot has happened on the Shrimp build and one of the first things that I did after the last video is laminating the sponsons. So if I grab a separate set of sponsons here. I laminated all the surfaces with 50 grams per square meter glass weave. After the glass weave was cured, I cut the excess weave and just sand it smooth. Now they are both sealed for water and also reinforced. I also installed the rudder and the steering system with the servo. This is a 12 gram servo with a small 2 mm push rod with a bend to align it with the rudder. And uh, I actually put the rudder on a custom position because normally the rudder has to be mounted behind the transom, like where the rubber bellow is. But I actually put it on the side with a piece of 3 mm carbon fiber. And the reason I put it here is because it has a little bit more room between the prop and the rudder. If you put the rudder on the transom or behind the transom, it will be very close to the prop. And if you run larger props, they can almost collide, especially if it is steering left-right. So I also like the looks of this custom rudder arm. I also mounted a ski below the top. I got the ID from Ironclad RC and also from H2O Mechanic 2.0. They both use a ski on their shrimp rigger and they have some crazy fast shrimp riggers. So thumbs up to them. So here we have the rear ski in more detail. The length of the ski from the transom is 17.5 centimeters or 175 millimeters. And the width is 15 millimeters. Yes. And the height is about 1 centimeter or 10 millimeter. If you want to make the same ski, these are the dimensions. Obviously, I put the deck on and I also made a custom nose section. I made the nose section from about 14 or 15 stringers, 4x4 four four millimeter. I all glued them together and then sanded the shape. And yeah, I like this custom little detail. The deck is raised, as I mentioned and showed in my last video, to accommodate a 4S LiPo. This is actually now a 3S LiPo, but a 4S 2200 mAh battery will fit in the nose perfectly. This is the motor that we're using in the shrimp rigger. It's a 2958 motor, and this is the cooling jacket. And the issue of this cooling jacket is that the water in and outlets are facing up too much, and therefore they are sticking out too much of the top, so I disassembled one of the in or outlets and I'm going to drill the hole through and then I'm going to put a piece of brass tube, 4 mm. I put some bends in it and I'm going to cut a bend section and then I'm just going to put it in and that will lower it. I just cut 
the pipe here where the bent area is and then basically the inlet should be lower. Something like this. It doesn't see much of a difference, but just imagine the silicone hose. You see, it needs to make a radius even on top of the outlet, not to get a kink. And if I put it like this, it will be quite a bit lower. So that's the idea. So this is the result. You can see the difference. This cooling line stays way more flat than this one. So when I bend it like this in a natural radius, the height is like this. And for this one, obviously it's much lower. So this will fit great. And now they fit perfectly under the hatch. This is actually the hatch for the back section, but but just to show you, you see, it fits flush with the water cooling installed. So I really like that. I use a ZTW 80 amp speed controller. That is plenty of controller for this boat, but it will allow for future upgrades like another motor or bigger props. So that's why I use this quite big speed controller here. Then I also installed the water cooling. Of course, I showed you the motor. And the water cooling outlet is over here on a nice piece of carbon fiber to reinforce it. And then it's just a small piece of 4 mm and 3 mm internal diameter aluminium pipe or aluminum as I should say for my US viewers. And I put it on the left of the top because normally you run these boats clockwise and if the boat is passing you, you can see the water coming out. If you put the water cooling on the other side, it's much harder to see because the boat will turn this way when it is far away from you. So there's not much left to do before we can do the maiden run. I just have to attach the sponsons because they are still loose, as you can see. And I also have to make the turn fin. I'm going to make a custom turn fin from bent carbon fiber. Uh, of course, a plate of carbon fiber cannot be bent. So I will laminate a carbon fiber turn fin in a kind of a mold which I will show you in the next video. Then I seal the tub with some epoxy, apply some paint and some clear coat, and then it's ready for the maiden run. Please stay tuned because I'm very excited about my next project, which I will show you now, which is this M500 Mini Mono. This is the successor of my popular Mini Mono, which many of you built. This is an all laser cut kit, including the plating. I implemented some design changes to improve the handling even more. And actually the Mini Mono already runs very good. But I think this design will run even better. So for example, this hull has a deeper V. I also integrated some spray rails in the sides. And it also has a raised bow to make it more resistant to choppy water. So it will come with a hatch and this nice cockpit shape, which I also developed by myself. And I will sell this kit for $49 or 45 euros. And it will be complete with all the plating, as you can see over here all the ribs, the stringers, etc. I already got quite some orders for this boat, but if you want one, let me know. You can give me a message on Facebook, Cozy RC, or you can send me an email, which you can find in the description. So stay tuned for this one, because I will maiden run this very soon. I will release a M700 next, which will be 700 mm or 27.5 inches approximately. Um, so yes, exciting things to come, but that will be for future video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!